for years I had complained about the college education system and how it's broken and and it just doesn't make sense to me. And why don't you learn how to make money? Why isn't there more application? Like to me, you should learn as I apply things as you learn, not just go and get a teacher that you may or may not like, take a class you may or may not like, but you got to get that letter. You got to get that grade. You got to get that diploma. So you just keep doing, you keep going through the motions, even if it's busy work, even if it's something that you're not interested, you just got to do it. And I was like, no, there should be a better way. Like you should, the best way to learn is by taking action. Uh, there's so many people that are graduate and they end up with a bunch of debt and they don't like their job. They don't like what they do. And so for us, it was like, well, let, you know, just go start a business. But as our kids are getting older and ready for that next chapter in their life, like sometimes like I, I it's, it's a lot easier said, like, go start your own business, uh, than, than done sometimes. And I see them and I'm like, I want them to have that guidance. I want them to have that direction. So we're at this dilemma of, do we encourage them to go to college or kind of just throw them out to the wolves, if you will, like, just go for it. Good luck. And I just kept thinking there needs to be a hybrid. There needs to be a school that teaches people how to make money that gives them that guidance. And I was looking around and found some things, but just wasn't finding what really, uh, what I felt like should be out there. And lo and behold, you know, one day as I was complaining about how somebody should do this or someone should fix it, just that voice was like, why don't you do something about it? And then I tried to fight it and tried to put it off. Um, but eventually, and, and ultimately, like I mentioned, when I started house flipping HQ, now seven figure flipping, this is actually what I wanted to do back then. I just wasn't, we just weren't ready. Mm -hmm. Um, and so anyway, we already had the domain Millionaire University, and we just decided the thing that we want Millionaire University to be with felt way too overwhelming. But we thought, you know what? Start somewhere. Let's start somewhere, and we'll build it over time. We don't. We're not in a spot where we need to, you know, do the hustle and grind thing. We don't need to put in 60, 80 hours a week. But let's just start somewhere and start this movement, start this momentum, get other people involved. And then over time, we'll create this thing that we want it to be. So yeah, in February of this year, we started the Millionaire University podcast. We actually started trying to do like tons of stuff on Twitter and, and our blog and just trying to do way too much. And then within like a month, we we're like, oh, we're all burnt out. I'm like, wait, we don't have to do this. Why are we doing this? So we scaled it back and we said, let's just focus really on the podcast, make that great, do some things on social media. But make sure that we're not um, putting so much work into this thing that will allow others to have the freedom and then take away the own freedom that we've created for ourselves. So we started to strike that balance that we're always looking for as as people in life and as business owners. And but yeah, now now we're to the point where we're building out a team, so we're starting to build out more of the written content and I'm starting to see it kind of unfold and and all that. I want to ask you about the kids. You were talking about, you know, as they start coming of, of age and start thinking about their own careers, you know, I, I have they, they expressed their uh, interest in a certain occupation. Do you, are you told them about entrepreneurship? Are they like, come on, dad, again with the entrepreneurship stuff? Uh, what, uh, how, what, what, what do, what do they uh, think about? Uh, mom and dad's career choices and and what they're doing now yeah so it's kind of both if i'm being incredibly honest uh, and i think that's that was a huge inspiration for starting millionaire university because i feel like i kind of ruined my kids as far as they have no desire to go to college right <laughs> no <laughs> desire but i also am like now i'm to the point where i go like, oh, shoot like i've kind of put all my chips in this thing of like you should start your own business but it's hard sometimes if I'm being honest to get them to like do their chores or our kids sometimes work with us and it's hard to keep them on task. And I'm like, Oh, how are they going to start their own business? And that's why millionaire university, the whole concept is where you take those same, you know, four years that society has kind of like put out there for young adults to say, this is your opportunity. Take this time, educate yourself, do something and then go start your career. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, what if you, we're able to kind of go after your dreams early on and learn a lot of things that will help assist you in that. Then you kind of have like a few years to kind of fail, fumble around, if you will, and then succeed. Because what I found is if I were to take any number of people that, let's say I took the same people that qualified for a certain university, but I were able to take like a chunk of those and work with them for four years, 
like guaranteed with maybe a 99% uh, accuracy that in the long term, those people that I worked with would be much more financially successful, 